Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. We actually have two in one news to render, and one is on ESN Hope Ozadema, the governor of Imo State, uh, the activist, and what Hetzman Flan Hetzman are doing presently in Imo State, and what took place in Olo Imo State. And of course, then there's another one uh, that happened in that that took place in South South. The repercussions and uh, why um, the silence of the politicians seem to be louder than the noise. Or any other noise being made by the common citizens of Nigeria in most states. But before we go into the news proper to find out all of these and much more, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Let's start with the memorandum signed during a, a governorship election that took place in Aquavam State. And this agreement, this memorandum between the aspirant, of course, obviously, uh, that particular aspirant did not make it to become um, the, the chosen candidate. The people chose the other party to tally. So, so to speak, the memorandum became null and void since he was not delivered. But it's... it's, it's um, a clear indication of what probably what most Nigerians are facing right now and why it looks as if our politicians' hands are tied. I'm going to read the memorandum of understanding between Fulani headsmen and some of our politicians. Now, this is from All Progressive Congress, Aquabom State Chapter, and it was written by um, the Fulani headers. It said, This memorandum of understanding, MOU, made this 15th day of January 2019. All right, some 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 years, a number of years ago, it said between the governorship candidate of All Progressive Congress (APC) in Akwaibom State, that's Mr. Insima Insima Ekere, hearing af hearing after referred to as candidate, which expressed expression shall include his agents, assigns and successions, title joined as John one hand. And the Meiti Allah Katu Breeders Association of Nigeria, daring after here referred to as Meiti Allah, which expression shall include his party, agent, assigns, and secession in title on the other hand. Whereas the candidate approached Meiti Allah for support in his bid to become the governor of Akwaibom State, South South Nigeria, Meiti Allah has agreed to give total support to the candidate to realize his governorship ambition. It is therefore convenant between the candidate and Meiti Allah as follows. One, that Meiti Allah shall make financial contribution of 3.8 billion naira, uh, 3.8 billion naira, 3 billion, 800 million naira only to the candidate. Two, Two, the Miti Allah shall mobilize its members in Akwaibom and neighboring states to attend campaign rallies of the candidate and vote for the candidate on the second day of March 2019. Three, the Miti Allah shall use its network, especially with the presidency and, and security agencies to support the candidate. Four, within the first three months of assumption of office, the candidate shall cause the state house of assembly to legal to legislate on establishment of cattle colonies in Aquaibom state five the candidate shall not for any reason or whatsoever ban open grazing in Aquaibom state six the cattle colonies shall be established in all the 31 local government area in Aquaibom state seven the meeting Allah shall have the so responsibility of appointing Sekin Fulani, that's Fulani heads, for the cattle colonies and the Sekin Fulani shall have the same status as traditional rulers, that's Edidem, that's like Oba, that's like Eze, Obi, in several places. Now, now they will have the same equal right, like Bale. Mm -hmm. Then eight, that is the event that in the event of dispute, parties to this MOU shall abide with results of arbitration in accordance with the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In within in in witness whereof parties to this MOU, that memorandum of understanding, have caused their respective signatures to be here here unto. Hereunto are fixed on the date fixed 
first above mentioned, which is 2019, Alaji Mohammed Kirowa. That's National President Mitiala. The Secretary Secretary Baba Ingezer, Ingezama, National Secretary Mitiala. Then Obong Simekere, APC candidate, governorship candidate, Akwaibom State. Now, this is actually a sample it took place in 2019 some some years back actually but of course instead they make the day uh, governor um emmanuel otom uh, dom yeah Odom, that's his name is the governor he actually emerged the people of Akwaibom came out in mass and voted for emmanuel Odom, who happened to be a pdp a governor and the people are still enjoying him till date and if you notice there's no cattle colonies if you also notice, there's no second Fulani in Akwaibom State, which means that um, this particular memorandum of, of, of understanding became null and void simply because there was uh, no, there was the person who went into agreement it was not delivered. So that gives you a picture of what may just maybe what Nigerians are generally suffering as of now. And you know, sometimes Nigerians are screaming and shouting, but yet the silence of our politicians are so deafening. But yet they're not saying anything, but it's so deafening that even the deaf can hear their silence. You know, you keep, keep hearing things, Fulani should do some certain things, you arrest them, and the next thing they're freed. And you're wondering, why? Why should the second have equal rights, equal status, commanding equal traditional rights in a foreign man's land where you don't have that? You only have a figurative head in the northern part of Nigeria. We don't have the same equal rights with the Emir in the south, in northern part of Nigeria. We just they just have figurehead as in the southerners living, southern leaders living in southern traditional leaders living in the north just have figureheads so that you know in case they want to speak with the southerners, they can just gather them together in one piece and disseminate for disseminate information through their head and to the subjects but that, that's not what they're even asking for demanding for open grazing in 2019 that clearly shows that the ban for open grazing has not been the game plan all along you now understand the dilemma the politicians are in judging the fact that due to probably greed here and there by a quest for power here and there made them to sign some certain things that they do not understand may hamper the future of the next generations and generations unborn in their society, in their community, eight years is too big for a channel uh, for two channels. Four years is too small. Is for uh, four years, eight years. It looks big, but it's actually too small for you to change the topography and the history of a total community, of total people. Imagine them having permanency and or, or using that permanency to acquire your lands, and tomorrow history is changed. Then what would you tell your people after eight years? Well, for, for course of time, we cannot take the other news, but you definitely get the feedback of what happened in Imo State in the other news very quickly. Now, let's go wrap it up. Let's put it in the comment section. What's your take on this?